A former firefighter has found a creative way to help first responders. As News 13's Emma Riley tells us, he's raised thousands with his custom knives. I got into it because I was told I physically couldn't do it. And can't ain't in my vocabulary. Meet Michael Olson, a former firefighter who suffered a severe back injury. It left him disabled and mostly bedridden, so he began creating custom knives by hand from his bed. And rather than sit in bed and vegetate, I found something that I could do. It took me a lot, a lot of work to get this good, but most people need a vice and a file guide to do what I do freehand laying in bed. His hobby earned him the name Mike the Knife. 18 months ago, Mike decided to raffle one of his knives off for charity, and it's grown from there, raising a lot of money for nonprofits. The latest raffle will benefit the Walton County Sheriff's Office Canine Unit, a knife he named Honor, designed with the law enforcement support flag. I just feel a need to give back to the people that are least respected these days. Um, I'm trying to help them buy a new canine. If that can save one officer's life or injury, it will be of worth it. The sheriff's office needs at least $15,000 for the new canine, which is very doable. With his custom knives, Michael has raised over $40,000 for over half a dozen fire departments and local veterans groups. He still has six of his custom knives to be raffled off at local fire departments. Creating custom knives is a time-consuming process. I buy them pretty much in this condition, and I spend enough about two hours doing the layout for the file work and about eight to ten hours hand filing with diamond files because it's already hard. Not too many people are crazy enough to do that. Then I have to sand it all off, re-etch it, and then reset the etching. It takes about 40 to 60 hours to complete after the filing. After paying for the materials, Mike loses money on each knife, but it's his way of giving back. In Walton County, MRI Lee News 13, Panhandle Strong.